He has sworn to keep the public safe and enforce the law, but code enforcers say that Johnson City police officer is breaking city code and creating a safety hazard inside the apartment complex he owns. Community watchdog Nate Morabito found out the city's documented roach infestations, electrical hazards, and other safety and health concerns. Yeah, after a neighbor complained, codes enforcers issued what's called a notice of violations to this fellow city employee, identifying more than 90 code violations and now they want to label the building unfit for human habitation. Codes enforcers say they snapped these pictures earlier this year. They show live roaches inside electrical panels and on walls and much, much more. I'm not really surprised, especially about the roaches. Katie Masters works across the street from the six unit apartment on Montgomery Street. It's only a matter of time before something like this happened and I'm glad it's happening because it's way overdue. The owner of the property is Johnson City Police Officer Michael Butler. He's required to follow the same rules as everybody else. A landlord who has a history of violations at this location, according to Johnson City's chief building official. It's a matter of neglect. In addition to the roach infestation, Jim Sullivan says the property in question has electrical issues and non-working smoke detectors, toilets, and stoves, among other issues. Certainly, we don't like to see living conditions uh, deteriorate to that level. Is that property a safety concern? Property is a safety concern. In recent weeks, the city issued this notice, listing dozens of violations and giving the landlord 30 days to fix all of the problems. According to the codes department, you're breaking the city ordinance and causing safety concerns here. What do you want to say about that? Butler declined an on-camera interview, but by phone told us he's already made significant improvements. You're going to try and repair everything then? Spending thousands of dollars on electrical repairs and pest control and blaming the problems here on his tenants and manager. Butler told us he thought the manager was taking care of the property. Furniture brought in from the street caused the infestation. A homeless couple really started the problems here. At the end of the day, this falls on you, though, because you're the landlord, and you know that. He may be cooperating now, but codes enforcers say that's not how it started. Is it safe to say he didn't want you going in there and inspecting it? I think that's safe to say. Mm -hmm. Yes. Early on, Sullivan says the city had to secure an administrative warrant to inspect the police officer's property. Butler said he had to do that for legal purposes. Nate Morabito, News Channel 11, in your corner. Butler has until March 14th to correct all the problems. Meanwhile, the Johnson City Police Department reports Butler not, did not receive any discipline in the last five years.